name is Jeff Staple. I'm the founder and creative director of Staple Pigeon and Reed Art Department. I'm a designer and a sneaker connoisseur, and today I'm gonna to show you how to elevate your sneaker collection. Let's go. Today, sneaker culture is seen as a design language. And to me, there's not too many things in this world that incorporate product design, sports and technology, science and innovation, color, fabric, culture, music. All of these things are jammed into this item that could cost as little as a hundred bucks. something that you have to make a decision on every single day of your life. Every day you have to walk out of your house, you have to decide what you're gonna put on your feet. And what you put on your feet to me says everything about who you are. Some key court shoes that every person needs in their collection. The Converse Chuck Taylor. This was the first shoe that had a sponsored athlete named after it, Mr. Chuck Taylor himself. And if you look at the sneaker, I think everyone can agree that this is a staple in your collection. And the good thing is now this shoe has evolved beyond the original court shoe. And now you can get this shoe in dozens, if not hundreds, if not thousands of different colorways and models. So you could have a lot of fun with the shoe and you could go from clean white, clean black to multi-color, multi-pattern. This is truly a foundation of sneaker culture. And I think every person needs to have the Chuck Taylor in their closet. Then the Nike Air Force One particularly in the white, white edition. It is a classic court shoe that is a true testament to the evolution of how shoes can go from court to fashion, to style, to trend. And to me, the white, white Air Force One is almost like the white t-shirt. It's just a basic foundation in your entire closet. Technical shoes have really become in trend recently. You can't argue with the way footwear brands are putting all this innovation into a shoe. Hoka One One started out as a downhill marathon brand. Who knew downhill marathoning was even a sport? You get this exaggerated outsole cushioning on this shoe. Uh, they also always have great tread because of the amount of pressure that downhill marathoners have to go through. Um, this is one of my favorite shoes. You don't have to buy these shoes strictly for the outdoors and for the gym. You should also feel comfortable wearing these shoes in the streets when you're just hanging out with some buds. What we've seen recently is how runners can actually evolve onto the streets as well. You don't have to wear these shoes only strictly on the track. Uh, and New Balance recently has just skyrocketed in success based on this core DNA of running. And the way they've done that is really, in my opinion, through strategic collaborations. They have shown the consumer that you don't have to be a hardcore runner, you don't have to be a marathoner, you can be a street stylist and also pull off a great pair of New Balances. And they've done a great job at really tapping into their original DNA, but also referencing what's happening in today's culture. The Hirachi was one of the first examples of Nike just sort of delving into this technology of allowing the interior booty to be seen on the outside. Um, and so this is always one of my favorites. This was a, a crowd favorite growing up when I was a kid, and today there's still a very, very iconic running shoe. What's really cool about collaborations to me is when the two parties can come together and create something better than either party could have done on their own. It's literally a one plus one equals five. One of my favorite ones out currently is the Nike Sakai Cause collaboration. So this is actually a three-way collaboration. What's really cool about this is obviously the incredibly unique shape and liberty of design that the creators were able to do here. Very rarely will you see a double check swoosh on the side of a shoe. Very rarely will you see this double tongue action. So what you're seeing here is many design nuances and ideas that really only someone like Chitos Abe could really come up with. Some takeaways, 
always be true to yourself. Wear what's comfortable to you first and foremost. If you're not comfortable, you can't be confident. If you're not confident, you can't be fly. It doesn't matter if you have five shoes or if you have 50 shoes, you can have an incredibly dynamic sneaker rotation. So take my advice and start building your sneaker collection. I can't wait to see it. Talk to you later. Peace.